Hi everyone, I want to thank you all for attending this webinar. Please note that this is pre-recorded, so if you have any questions, then please make a note of them and then ask them at the end of the presentation. Or you can email myself or Nathan with the email addresses found at the bottom of the video. I'll be doing the first half of the video, which contains information on what SFC is, and then Nathan will be taking over to show a program he has created. Thank you. What is SFC programming? SFC programming is a language that is used to describe the logic of a process sequentially in a predefined step order. This is another very popular programming language for batch process programming. The SFC program performs a series of operations, beginning from the initial step, proceeding to execute each subsequent step as the transition conditions are satisfied, and ending with the end step. When the SFC program is started, the initial step is executed first. Execution of the initial step continues until transition condition 1 is satisfied. When this transition condition is satisfied, execution of the initial step is stopped, and processing proceeds to the step which follows the initial step. Processing of the SFC program continues from step to step in this manner until the end step has been executed. Sequential fu function chart SFC, can be used to structure the internal organizations of a program consisting of sub-programs and are also written in other languages of the standard. It can also be used in its pure form of specifying the logic con control algorithms. The SFC programming structure consists of three main elements that organize the control program. SFC consists of A program in SFC consists of steps, transitions, and actions. Each stage indicates the state of the process. A step can be active or inactive. As shown in the figure below, a transition not only can have one input and one output step, but can also have more input steps and more output steps connected by the directed links. These sequential flowchart diagrams show the stages in sequential order and are widely used to present algorithms, workflow, or process flow. Typically, a sequential flowchart displays the steps as charts of various kinds. Their order is established by connecting them with lines. The stages involve associated actions. Only some of the stages can be found active in each cycle of the process. Each stage is identified with the number that must be unique and doesn't necessarily keep an order consistent with the se sequence of the process. Transitions. In between two steps, a transition is a step represented by a horizontal line across a vertical line. It is containing the logic condition allowing the transfer from one step to another. Transitions are associated with the condition these can be a logical function of variables of inputs and internal system. Actions. The actions associated with the stages are represented by a rectangle side box where the type of action to be carried out is indicated, only the active ones. A stage can have one or more actions associated with it. The process is broken down into stages, which will be activated sequentially. One or more actions are associated with each stage. These actions will only be active when the stage is active. The activation of a transition condition indicates the activation of the next stage and the deactivation of the preceding stage. Program operation. Sequential flowcharts, SFC steps, are connected with each other the same as the flowcharts. SFC is conducive to Boolean operation and or OR decisions. AND decisions are simply placed in series and OR decisions are placed in parallel. There are two ways to indicate conditions and they are symboli symbolic and literal. Between stage and stage, there must be a transition. The transition conditions are written to the right of the line that joins them. There may be a jump or step backwards seen in the same as a flowchart. A condition is associated with every transition. If all the input steps are, of a transition are active, 
and the transition condition is satisfied, then the transition is fired, which means deactivation of all its input steps and activation of all its output steps. Thank you for your time. I'll be now handing it over to Nathan, and he'll be presenting a program which he has written. Hi everyone, my name is Nathan and I'm a junior Mitsubishi Droids engineer and today I would like to demonstrate SFC programming. Firstly I would like to go through some fundamentals of SFC programming. There are three major elements in SFC programming which are the step that indicates one processing of a program they look like this and then there is the action that indicates an assigned operation output to a step it looks like this and within this action block we can write in multiple programming languages next we have the transition that indicates a condition to move to the next step this basically means that if the conditions aren't met at the transition it won't go to the next step Next, I'm going to look closer at transitions. If you look at this transition here, you can see there is the transition name and the number of the transition. Both of these can be set at the properties. This is a series transition that moves the processing to a next step. It's the most basic transition. Next we have the selection branch that indicates a branch displayed with a single line for selecting one processing which means whether the conditions on this transition is met or this transition it would go in this direction or this direction. For example if the conditions in transition 4 are met it will follow step 3 and need to fulfill the conditions of transition 5. Next we have the simultaneous branch that indicates a branch displayed with a double and performs with a double line excuse me and performs multiple processes in parallel which means that both of these steps will be executed at the same time. Now uh, I would like to have a closer look at the steps. This is our normal step and if you look closer there is the step name, the number of the step and the steps attributes. Steps have four different attributes. BC that is block start step that is this steps current attributes BS that's block start step as well, R that is reset step, and AC that is coil hold step. Then we have the initial step that in indicates the head of a block. One initial step is necessary for a block. And then we have the end step that indicates the end of a block. You are as well uh, able to edit the name and number and attributes of all these steps. Next I would like to demonstrate how to build a SFC program. Firstly I would like to add some transitions as well as a selection branch. Here we have the selection branch. I'm going to add a few steps in here as well. Now we have a basic it's a SFC program. Firstly we need to set the conditions for the first transition. 
which I will make x0 note that when using SFC programming and transitions you always need to add the transition function next we have the first action which I will set as start I'm going to say that X1 will activate Y0 Next we have the selection branch which means whether the conditions are met on these transitions it will go down the according path. So transition three, I'm going to make that if y zero is on, and for the other transition, I'm going to state that if y0 is off which wouldn't be possible since I turn it on at the start regardless next I'm going to add a action as well you can insert multiple actions which I will state that X3 will reset Y0 and action 1 I will create a heat to start Where I'll state that X3 sets Y5 at this transition, I'll state that. If Y5 is active, then the transition can happen. Next, I'll just add a, another transition to state that if Y0 is not active now my program now my program is complete
so according to my program when the start condition is met it will move to the start and when and when the start is pushed it will go to transition 3 follow this route to the end step and if it's not it will go to transition 4 and follow this route to the end step thank you for watching please feel free to ask any questions Thank you.